you're listening to independent tv7 kindly click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at independent tv7 also don't forget to click the bell icon to get more notification thanks for watching wow my beautiful people is beginning to get more interesting and over uh, as sunday igbo and namikano's case uh, is beginning to you know be on the lips of uh, nigerians i find it very it's a uh, malami over igbo and Kano, so pandemonium everywhere uh, you know uh, malami and i find it very exchange uh, words and uh, battledly you know uh, in causing uh, themselves as uh, as regards of uh, Namikano or regard to Namikano's case and Sunday go uh, from Olujo Yojo uh, in Ibadan, the pan Yoruba social political organization of very as described as Ipo uh, critical statement made by the Attorney General of the Federation and uh, Minister of Justice Abuba Kamalami, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, uh, that the federal government was expecting a request for reconciliation or political solution to the prosecution of the Yoruba Nation activist Sunday at the MO, aka Fondly and called Sunday Igbo and in now the Kanu Mazen Abukan of the Independent uh, People of uh, Biafra, uh, IPOP, uh, Indigenous People of Biafra, uh, um, for their agitations for self uh, determination or you know agitation for good governance and also the uh, secessionist group. The National Publicity Secretary of our friend, very Mr. Jari Ajayi, who made this known in a chat with the Sunday Sun at the weekend stated that the government should rather without further delay create an opportunity for meeting to be held uh, where the issues that uh, engendered self-determination uh, agitations would be discussed and uh, resolved amicably to us in Afenifere and indeed to many who believe in orderliness and rule of law uh, Sunday at the popularly known as Sunday Igbogo committed no offense so the question of he or anyone on his behalf making a case for a political solution does not even arise. It was the government uh, through its agencies that invaded his house on uh, July 1st, 2021 at the early hour of 1.30 uh, a.m. Killed two people, vandalized his properties and uh, went away with some of his aids and properties. <laughs> uh, this is so very, very appalling. The same government has been making a lot of efforts to get him extradited from the Republic of Benin to Nigeria. And also, through the invasion, they have violated his uh, fundamental human rights, uh, which uh, is unlawful and uh, is not even recognized in the law. It uh, is a crime on its own. Those who, you know, came invading his house around that time, you know, are uh, just a uh, criminal. That's the basic truth. Because if you invade someone's house at midnight, which is not even under the constitution for arrest or thereabouts, uh, he has never been invited, you know, legally you know, or officially uh, to the office for interrogation or thereabouts. And if they are going to invite him for interrogation, on what basis are they inviting him for? Uh, because as Sunday at the MO is uh, he's a businessman, and uh, uh, the the court itself has not really, you know, given verdict on him, and he has never had any criminal uh, case. Or maybe you would say he's an ex-convict or he needed to, you know, answer to the government. What he is doing is just uh, his fundamental right, you know, trying to uh, sen sensitize the uh, public about uh, what is really going on the genocide and also the uh, so-called uh, nepotism you know which is method on the nigerian public uh, which he has also done and meanwhile those that were perpetrating evil as the so-called uh, fulani uh, militias i would say they are the boko Haram's and the terrorists that were kidnapping I mean, uh, raping uh, the citizen of uh, the people of uh, or your uh, ibadan and uh, he uh, reported to the government the you know, constituted authority but there was nothing they could do instead uh, those that went to report those that are from the southern region which are the yorubas went to report instead they were detained and left those uh, uh, fulani alone uh, for you to know that that that's where the nepotism came in from or rather uh, that is where uh, the so-called um, a genocide uh, came, came from and uh, they have been killing the people of Ibarakwa, killing the people of Igogo and there is nothing that uh, the government has done about it so when uh, the Yoruba you know tried to create a reprisal and uh, that was when uh, the government you know as Jimmy feels that oh uh, these people are you know criminals or terrorists so 
proscribing indigenous people of Biafra uh, criminal or terrorists, the uh, same as proscribing uh, the uh, Yoruba nation because they are fighting for one just cause. So if they are self determinant uh, and if the self determining or you know uh, secession is a crime in Nigeria. Yeah, that is when they have offended. So as, as it is, invading Sunday Google's house at that early hour of that time uh, is a criminal offense. Uh, so it's not even under the constitution for you to arrest somebody. And time for arrest is to be between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. in the evening. After them, uh, anything any security agents agents does, you know, invading or doing all sorts is illegal. Well, uh, the same government has been making a lot of efforts to get him extradited from the Republic of Benin to Nigeria, but because the man is not a criminal, it has been difficult to build a case uh, to nail him. Yeah, definitely. And meanwhile, uh, Kusunu or Republic of Benin uh, do not even have the right uh, to do so uh, because uh, uh, Sunday Bo has really done nothing. And if he is going to be extradited, he should be released. Then he, he can go to Nigeria or go wherever he wants, you know, by himself. Or he can visit Nigeria or go to the uh, judiciary or to the police to report himself. Well, as it is, he's an innocent man. And likewise, um, Namdekanu that was uh, indicted and accused of a uh, jumping bill. Namdekanu just didn't jump bill uh, just because he wanted to jump bill, but he ran for his dear life. So though uh, the government have you know charged him to court earlier and he was billed, you know uh, the shorty uh, that stood for him was a uh, Bay. But the day of uh, the court hearing has not come yet until when. Uh, the soldiers, the military or the security uh, uh, terrorists that invaded his house and killed over 28 people. So that is still on ground and you are telling us as a government uh, that uh, these guys are uh, criminals. How are they criminals? You are not telling us and uh, cannot jump bail. How uh, did he jump bail and why won't he uh, jump bail if eventually he did? And he said yes, he jumped bail because he ran for his dear life. Well, to further underscore the innocence of the man, as well as the fact that the government is the aggressor, Justices Oladiro Akitola of the State High Court in Ibadan and Obiora Egwafu of the Federal High Court Abuja on Wednesday, August 4, 2021, gave rulings in favor of Igbo and is it uh, cost uh, running into billions of Naira where even awarded against the uh, federal government. Uh, the Afeni Ferry spokesman observed that. The government is now talking about reconciliation in order to save its uh, dented face, adding that since the government has now realized that it had made grave mistakes in the cases of the two self-determination agitators, Igbo and Akanu, uh, it should do the needful by discounting the legal uh, proceedings or processes it is pursuing against uh, them, or illegal rather, I would say. Uh, it should also allow them to move freely and enjoy their fundamental human rights fully, uh, which has been stated. And meanwhile, the government should put their hands in their pocket and do the needful and do the right thing uh, with the little time they have uh, uh, on that uh, throne, as they call it. Because they call it as a throne and they own the whole uh, country. Uh, so in less than two years now, they will leave that office. Well, he noted that the government should also comply with the verdicts already given by the courts in respect of the agitators and uh, compensate them for what uh, they have suffered, uh, which is true. They have really suffered a whole lot. Uh, the Nigerian government at present, you know, led by uh, the APC, the All Progressive Congress, and uh, Buhari being uh, the president, and they have committed a whole average. Uh, to the uh, fundamental rights of uh, uh, people and the human rights of uh, the citizens. So it's not very, very, and as not speaking, I have not spoken well of uh, uh, the country called Nigeria under this present administration or this uh, regime seems to be deaf to every good advice. Well, I would like you to share your views in the comment section. Thanks for listening and God bless.